You can still buy coins with the new transaction method at golda.com. Check out the link in the video's description and use the code TOMLFC Heaven for 5% discount. What's up guys, I'm TOMLFC Heaven and welcome back to the Liverpool Carrier Boat Show. You guys smashed the likes on today's first episode, so I'm bringing you another one. And loads of you guys said to make that I should make a gameplay video where I talk about how to beat the legendary computer. So I thought and decided let's dedicate today's episode to that. So first of all, let's take a look at the Premier League results because we have some big big news for you guys. As you can see, Manchester United did us a huge favor by beating Tottenham at Old Trafford. So this next game against Hull City is huge. If we could take advantage and win, then, then we could open up a three-point gap. And Man United are not completely out of the title race yet with that victory. Who knows whether Tottenham will keep dropping points. And of course, I will play with my second string side. So this is the side that I will be, I will be playing with. And I will show you some of the best things that you could do against the legendary AIs. Welcome to the game Liverpool against Hull City and this will be a full game live commentary. If you enjoy these types of videos, uh, smash the like button and let me know in the comments below which uh, aspect, which part of the gameplay should I concentrate on in, in the next episode. Today I will concentrate on the short passing style that I'll do and uh, also some of the skill moves that you could do against the AI. I suggest looking up some tutorials on YouTube uh, which teach you the advanced body feint and uh, and some of the basic 4 star and 3 star skill moves. The roulette is very effective but I, I, I use the body feint a lot as you know and it's a very very You are in a run and the defender is closing you down and you, you press the button and as you can see the player stops the ball immediately which is a great tool if you want to prevent to losing the ball and yeah Carlos Daniel let's see what he can do oh that is a bad pass uh, another thing that you really should do and uh, what's really effective both offline and online is for example this kind of oh what a touch by Klein and again the Tiki Taka passing is really effective and I bang it in oh ho, 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 what a goal did you see that build up play guys that's how you beat the legendary AI with quick one touch passing and Jordan I just absolutely smashes it so as you can see I did a 1-2 and I get the ball back and then he just lets it rip and it flies into the top corner. This will be a brilliant angle. What a hit son. And you, you need to shoot first time when there are defenders around you because otherwise if you take a touch the shot will either get blocked or you will get dispossessed. That's only his fourth goal in the league but Jordan Ipe has been electric and brilliant. So yeah, another great trip, uh, that great tip that I want to show you guys is uh, the fake shot or fake cross that you need to do when you when you get the ball and there are defenders around you. So when I'm and when I'm on, on the attack, I will show you that. And yeah, sometimes you don't need to dive in, but watch the pass. Oh oh oh! Ooh, great defending. No. Ooh, Scuffy, good save. Yeah. When uh, when you are. You are open uh, at the back, then you need a goalkeeper to come up big with that big save. No! Wow, what a corner. And yeah, what I also do is try to play on the counter 
because as you can see Jordan Ive is already on the run and I will show you why the body feint is very effective because Jordan Ive just can cut in and then he smashes it 2-0 already Jordan Ive with the double and as you can as you as you can see the advanced body feint is very very effective here you can you can basically beat one or two defenders with one skill move so I suggest looking up some tutorials on YouTube how to do it it's very easy to do you just flick the right stick uh, into the direction like 90 degrees from the direction that you are facing into the direction that you want the player to go and uh, basically if you can combine it uh, if you get really good at it just go into the practice arena and practice if you are really good at it then uh, you can combine it with other skill moves oh what a tackle but somehow somehow the ball stays at their feet oh man okay okay let's oh klein klein is having a field day oh man oh no yes oh yes go on klein okay and and Henderson bang! Ooh, that could have been free now. We are having a field day here against Hull City. This is going to this is this could be a really big scoreline if I play like this. Hopefully this really helps you out. Just uh, you know, just watch my watch my uh, gameplay and watch how I play. And of course, when you try to get the ball uh, sliding in, sometimes it's very effective. Oh, maybe not not that time. But you have to be careful, of course, not to get a red card. Oh, great. And yeah, as you can see, sometimes I don't attack the player who has the ball. But instead, I watch the passing option. Sometimes you need to track the runner. As you can see, I track the runner with Moreno. And he brilliantly gets the ball. And then Ilori is on the run. But with the body feint, you need to get away with the defender. And then the pitch is opening up. Oh man, this is brilliant. Also, if you use the left trigger and the right trigger or the left uh, uh, L2 and R R2, you can do this uh, this brilliant uh, ball control. And uh, and yeah, sometimes you need to do it because uh, sometimes the players, the defenders are so cl close to you that basically, yeah, let's 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 show me. L let me show you here, as you can see. Ooh. And oh man, oh my goodness, Henderson almost scored another one. I mean, another great goal. Wow, that was close. I think it get it get gets blocked. And yeah, let me sh teach you the short corner routine. So you pass it to this guy again with the advanced body feint. You get past that guy, and Henderson is wide open. And yeah, this time it didn't work, but I scored so many goals like this, both offline and, and online on Ultimate Team. So the short corner routine is also another brilliant, brilliant tactic that you can use. And no, Jordan Ive gets injured. Okay, let's bring on, let's bring on Markovic. Let's give him a run out. Let's see what he can do. Let's put Origi on the other side. I'm scoring two goals and getting injured. That's really unlucky, man. Oh man, I'm so <laughs> devastated for Jordan Ibe. So yeah, let me let me teach you now the 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 fake shot or the fake pass that you need to do when you get the ball. So for example, here, Yashil, as you can see, you can straight away turn into the direction that you want to be facing, and that's a great tool if you want your player to not get dispossessed or to get away from the defender uh, I, d I didn't want to do that sorry and yeah also quick passing that is another thing that is very important once you learn to control the ball like this then basically the AI just can't get near you no matter what and that is a bad pass oh 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 oh, oh. the counter watch the counter Nah, mate, I dived in. Oh, shit. Now it's trouble. Now it's trouble. It's 2-1. Yeah, that's what you need to watch. 
sometimes if you I, I pulled uh, one center back out of position Eric Dier and I missed the tackle with him and you have to be very careful with, with the, the tackles because if you miss the tackle that's what you can that's what can happen you can left you can be left exposed at the back and basically the the, the legendary computer had a one-on-one -on -one so and they scored but this it will make for an interesting second half so let's let's go and play the second half as you can see with this uh, ball control technique i'm dominating possession and creating a lot of chances also what you what you also could do if you have a fast player is just sprint forward and then wait until your teammates and yeah as you can see that fake shot uh, is very very effective and henderson is on the run but um, he couldn't get on the end of it. So now I will I try to guess where the goalkeeper will will throw him throw his oh Klein come on Klein no oh no now I really need to be a little bit careful I I might be I might have been a little bit gung ho in attack come on oh man I was impeded ref okay. Of course, what you also could do is uh, read the pass when there is a throw-in. No! Oh my goodness! That could have been 2-2. We are lucky. We are lucky. You, I need to block the cross. And as you can see, when the defender attacks me, I do a body feint and see you later. What is that climb? Too little power and that's a foul. Uh, the game became a little bit scrappy. We played so well in the first half, but that Jordan Ibe injury a little bit disrupted us. Okay, what is that? Oh, Emre Chan, no. <laughs> Livermore absolutely bottled it. And I also, because I don't want to lose possession, I also always pick out the fullbacks and to pass them to. And as you can see, the advanced body fade works like a charm. And that is a great passing move. And Klein fucks it up. But we get the ball. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, nice. Emre Chan. Wow. Come on, man. Surely it's... Who surely that's a corner? No, it's not. Never mind. Okay. Let's watch the, the this guy. Or this guy, um, he kicks it out. Come on, in the header, Henderson. Oh no. Oh no. Maybe I will. Maybe I will go on on balanced tactic. Oh no. Oh please, don't give away a penalty, Eric Dier. Great defending, but what is up with the passing? I hate when EA does this. No. Ooh, at least <laughs> the good news is that Hull City have really bad. Strikers, they are just misfiring. Did you see that? That's that's how that's how you turn into the direction that you want to fa be facing straight away. And sometimes, sometimes the defenders just can't can't defend it. That is br brilliant play again. And I'm just w waiting until Moreno gets on it, and then Moreno is away. Moreno is away. What can he do? Ah, that is terrible. I, I went too close to the byline. Should have passed it one one touch earlier. Come on, Emre Chan. Oh, look at look at Eric Dier, man. But yeah, when you slide in with the defender and you miss the ball, that's what that's what can happen. Okay, I need to I need to keep the ball now a little bit better because it's just not good enough. No. Okay, I need to calm down because oh, Origi gets the ball. Quite lucky, and yeah, this is this is the the fake shot in full effect. Oh, please, Klein. Okay, Origi. Oh, come on! I couldn't get there. Need to stop them if they are on the attack. Sometimes I try to read where the, def the 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 player with the ball will turn. But sometimes you just need to watch the passes. Man, Hull City are are doing some really nice passing work here. Come on, Klein, block the cross. Oh, great defending. 
Klein is away. You're you're not. Oh my goodness, ref. Okay, Klein. This this is why I like fast fullbacks. Okay, and Markovic is away. Markovic is away, and oh uh, that oh that's beautiful, Markovic. <laughs> did you see what I did there, guys? I did a I did a body fade, and then I think I did a, a scoop turn of some sort. Let's watch this again. No, uh, Ronaldo chop. So I did a body fade. I got past one defender, and then I did a Ronaldo chop to get past another defender. And then a finesse shot when you are basically in front of the goal is very powerful to curl it around the goalkeeper into the far corner to get give you a guaranteed goal and a guaranteed 3-1 cushion, a two-goal cushion. So hopefully we can we can win this game and Yashir gets the ball and sometimes you just need to calm down things and pass it pass it out. And th th this is another great tactic when when the when the AI is on high pressure. All you need to do is do some quick passing, and of course, go on. I will go back on attacking because the AI I noticed it. They are on on high pressure now, so I could actually get rack up some. Oh come on, Klein! I could I could really punish them on the counter if if I get the ball in midfield. Then, oh come on, Klein! Klein is having a brilliant game. Because as you can see, they are pushing, really pushing forward. So if I could get the ball now, then I could punish them with some devastating counter-attacks. But of course, they are pouring men forward, so I need to be careful with the defense as well. Come on, Henderson! Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, I, I knew it. But... <gasps> no! Oh, my God. Oh, no. It's free to... What a game. I'm, glad, I'm, I'm actually happy that uh, I'm doing a full game live counter commentary of this game. Great header. I think it goes in off the bar. I'm not sure. Yeah. Scuffy. What are you doing, mate? Great header. And now it's... Mm, it's. I need to be very careful. Let's make some substitutions. because, As you can see, my midfield is absolutely knackered. So let's bring on Bakero. And maybe Sterling for Origi. Because Origi is also absolutely knackered. But I, I will keep on Henderson and Emre Can. So they can add some defensive steel into midfield. And yeah, let's go ultra defensive. Or maybe maybe defensive. Oh, but the referee blew the whistle. There wasn't a time for Hull City to get the ball. And to get an equalizer. So in the end, the most important thing is the three points. And what I suggest you... To do is uh, look up some tutorials on uh, some skill moves and uh, some basic attacking and defending tutorials on YouTube because those are great uh, to improve you and also watch my gameplay because you know I'm playing on sliders not in this game this was on default but it was still a very entertaining game and uh, and watch me watch my gameplay and learn from it watch how I attack watch how I defend and uh, yeah, I'm not, I know I'm not the best defender, so that's why I, I thought I wouldn't give you too many defending tips in this video because I'm more, I'm more an attacking player. As you can see, we open up a three-point gap on Tottenham, and even though our goal difference is still worse, we are now three points clear. But there are still nine games to go in the Premier League, so that's a lot, and we need to be very, very careful if we want to. If you want to stay in front, we need to basically win the again win against the smaller side and Everton climb out of the relegation zone. But it looks like my second favorite team in the Premier League, Swansea City, will get relegated, which is a little bit of a shame. Thanks for watching, guys. Really hope that you guys enjoyed this extra long career mode episode with gameplay tips and everything else. If you enjoyed it, smash the like button and let me know in the comments below what do you want me to do next. Uh, regarding these uh, full gameplay videos. See you later guys. Have a lovely day. Goodbye!